to Final Fantasy six Final Fantasy sixteen. We're now gonna do a side mission at the Da Maui Inn. Use your loaf. Sounds exciting. Let's go, shall we? Gone, just like that. And without so much as a bar, you'll leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? Mate, I think we fucking can, eh? We can. I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. So far with my experience playing this game, I know I've said it a million times, but the side stories and the monster hunting has been a highlight by far. It's been so much fun. The story itself is great, don't get me wrong, but uh, in open world or pseudo open world games, I love just doing side stuff. That's why I really enjoy open world RPGs. Even the Ubisoft stuff is fucking, I love it, just because there's so much to do. Oh, there he is. Classic jump instead of talking. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry selfish sod, aren't I? It's certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the mother crystal. I hated her, but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me We're shattered. We're directly responsible for this man's sadness right now. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. This is all but I'm no fault. good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? I actually get a choice to say something. Um, if you're in chat, one for this one, two for this one, three for this one. I'll wait like 20 seconds. I'm leaning towards number two myself. Okay, number two it is. Try to remember the good times. Do that, and the Mother Crystal will be with you no matter where you are. Even in the bakery? What a fool I've been. Thank you, my friend, thank you. You've opened my eyes. I have to get back there right away. Farewell. Wait. Suppose he won't be needing an escort then.
Let's return to the baker. The finest The most fragrant herbs and spices. Ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's Balm. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang without her crater? Why, no Fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Uh, well, if it tastes off as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> uh, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. Quest complete. Sorry, Daz. Now let's, now let's head back to the hideaway and continue the main story. But first, we need to go check that reward um, shop. But I think we're up to the next tier. We'll have a quick look, and then we'll go talk to Blackborn. We're seeing troops amassing. And we fucking do, hell yeah. No surprises there. How may I help you today, Clive? Is everything we've received and everything promised? You earned this. Shit, 800 ability points? Come again. We should I definitely have, have a look and see if we can upgrade yeah. something quickly. Two, th almost three thousand. We can upgrade aerial blast or scarlet cyclone. I think we can almost do both actually. But I think we can do the cyclone first. And then we'll go and upgrade the aerial blast. Oh, actually, thunderstorm. Yeah, upgrade thunderstorm. Wait, do we use thunderstorm? I think we do. If not, we can just reset. Do we use thunderstorm? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. We just upgraded two abilities, which we use in combat. Fuck yeah, sick, stoked. Buy some potions. And what can I do for you? And let's buy actually for one to we'll buy an orchestration scroll, scroll into the mire. It'd better all be here. Because we have so much gear now, why not? Me blind, and let's know. put that in the Thanks player. Thank you, Clive. See what it sounds like. Blackthorn, could I ask a favor? Out with it. It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Gregor's Tate. What the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy though. And I'll need help. 
Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. I'm glad it didn't make us actually go one by one and get them. Quality of life, for sure. So Liz roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valproy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Do right I then. get to choose? Let me choose what I want to do. Your minds up who's going where. We I want to go to the with. supplier because that'd be fucking easy as. And I just go to the shop. I don't want to go back in somewhere and pick up sand and bite monsters. Do I have the materials already? You going after the stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? I'm picking Gav. Gav, you're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Alamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. You two, oh. eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. See, I don't fleece really... me? In terms of, like... I like to see him dry. Characters I like and know. In your own time. I chose Gab just because he's been more... Part, like, in the story more, I guess. And done more. All right. Let's go. Where the fuck is it? Oh, it's over there. Okay, cool. Oh, it's just right there. Sweet. Looks like I found the river. Where's Gav? Bit lazy, it's 93 meters away, but let's just get on our truck about anyway. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. I 
Okay, I know I'm missing something, you're like an idiot. Sorry. Yeah, I need to find the last one, but where the fuck would that be? Up here? Oh no, I hate when like you got like one more thing to pick up and you don't know where to go. And it's probably very obvious. Must be down here then. There it is. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Also, I'm seeing the Indiana Jones movie tomorrow, which is pretty exciting. I'm don't. I'm not a huge fan of Indiana Jones, but like. You know, Harrison Ford's probably, probably his last movie You're is finished. Indiana. You're finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, f You win. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Give me an option, maybe I don't want to talk to the cunt. Maybe I just want to go straight to the hideaway. Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. That was pretty cute. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Now hopefully Otto's done his job and we don't have to help him with some right. fucking bullshit. Ready to go home, boy. I want Jill back. Back to the hideaway we go. Let's go. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Thorn. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. 
Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Mate, we've done all Thank the side stuff. Thorn. I'll let mid know construction's underway. Quest complete. Fuck yeah. Letting off steam. One. Goblin, we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell some shit actually. I suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. Let's go back to mid, but first let's sell some of these gill bugs and shit that we have. And what can I do for you? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. I'll be thankful you got that much. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? Come again, or don't. Much bothered either way. Just started reading books that don't have any pictures in. If I don't come up with something soon, you'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins. I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all the details. What's the name? Right. Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And, not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. 
The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um, going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Now, I don't... I forgot what she was building. Was she building an airship? Or like a very fast, like, sea ship? I fucking completely blanked when she was explaining it earlier. If someone could please tell me, that'd be great. Because I fucking have no idea. I don't understand why you can't place markers if, even if you're like you're heading there. Like placing that marker there would be so useful. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. times if I got like a dollar every time I went the wrong way in this game I'd be a fucking millionaire by now To be fair, the marker, that red marker was like showing the way the other direction because it curves, like on the route. So, it wasn't entirely my bad. Good girl. to try out the new upgraded Thunder and Cycl Scarlet Cyclone abilities, so it's going to be good to test that. Really guys, I'm all the way here. There we go. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Whatever the monster is, it's not going to be an S tier monster like the one we fought last part, so. That? Really? That's the monster? This must be our unwanted visitor. Where are they? Time to go. That's like a fucking Yu Gi Oh card. This one.
enemy fucking slain. Let's go. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Quest complete. Hell yeah. Letting off steam too. back to mid no worries there I'm quickly gonna also check this if there's any side quests to do before we check with mid it's on the way anyway so it's all good and the monster board too just in case it's probably not it's probably have to wait to the next like main plot like not twist but like progression till the stuff is available but no harm in check here. Nothing there. Nothing there, but we get a reward. Oh, no surprises there. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back, son. Oh, I need two me meteor meteorites. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. You earned this. Seven fifteen. So that's a while away, and we get a high cleric's medallion. Come again. I may have more for ya. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shield in. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more way and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Speaker of Hippocrates? Let's do it. Sorry, one second, I just got a little bit distracted. Uh, can I walk? Thank you very much. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? 
for you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine? Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine. At timber and steel here from those very materials, nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. An obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the Dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obolus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game... Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Do I get another decision about what happens? Some more choice? So it's good. gonna be Jill. It's always gonna be Jill. Very well. So then, what the do we need to find? Her lightning power is so I have her ice power is so useful. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited, effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Alright, let's go to Northreach. This is some like side quest main missions. Like it doesn't really feel like towards the main plot. It's like filler in an anime. 
but I'm all for it. Now, where's Jill? There's two. Keep them pilgers nice and chilled. I won't have you. Those pepio nuts. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Slice of life, Final You'll Fantasy. Fresh cuts. Come and so that's the both not though. Kill some monster and get some ingredients. Much, oh, I'm just gonna buy it? Okay. Ah, oh, yes. That's sweet. Buy, sell, or be gone. Good riddance. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Someone's gonna be a costing guy and we'll need a helper. Who you knows she can take care of herself quite well anyway. No, I guess not. Did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here... ...reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember... ...walking down Market Street in Rosalith... ...taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Oh. Is there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just. Oh. Are you alright? <laughs> Sorry. It's just. Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Alive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Just fucking kiss already, come on. But I guess people wouldn't like that. Like, why they gotta be in a relationship? Can't they just be platonic? But come on, just kiss. Well, I suppose we better be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too.
wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the Moondew. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the Moondew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obolus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon do are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Quest complete. I want to take a quick three minute break. Um, stop the stream and restart it. So, when we get back with well, the next part, I better go and give Mid the good news then. We'll go give Mid the good news. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.